What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 2 of tutorial series on deploying Flask application on the EC2 instance with Docker. In the previous tutorial, we had set up the EC2 instance for Docker and now in this tutorial, we are going to write the Docker file for the Flask application. So basically, we are going to create two files over here that is requirements.txt and another is Docker file itself, right? So right now, uh, this application is on my local, right? So once we configure everything, we will push the code to GitHub and we will pull the code from the GitHub to the EC2 instance and then we will run the Docker container. So that's the idea. So right now I have this Flask application. So I have already created the sample Flask application. So I will quickly show you by running this. So that's unicorn app colon app enter and we have this localhost url paste it over here and here we are right so this is our index page and this is our basically login page so it's a very basic flask application for the purpose of this tutorial right so it can be anything in your case so i have this flask application now I'm going to write the requirements.txt file first, right? So I'm going to stop this. So now this is the directory structure, right? So within Flask app Docker, we are going to create the requirements.txt. So I will save this file as requirements txt right so in this file we are going to mention all the packages that we will require in order to run the flask application right so in my case i only require flask right in your case it might be uh, you are using pandas or numpy or any other library so you have to mention those packages over here right so because we are going to use requirements.txt to install those packages so in my case, uh, I only require Flask. So I will quickly check the Flask version that I have. So I will say pip3 freeze. So I have Flask 1.1.1. So I'm going to copy this and paste it over here, right? I don't require anything else. So I'm not uh, mentioning or adding any other packages over here, right? It's just Flask. So I'm going to save this and we are done with the requirements.txt. Now we will go ahead and create the Docker file, right? So what is Docker file? So it's basically a text document that contains the list of command a user could call on the command line to assemble an image, right? So that's the Docker file. So it's uh, basically a list of command, right? Within that file. So moving along, uh, we are going to create docker file within flask app hyphen docker directory. So I will say new file. I will save it as docker file. Right. And now from the definition, we know that it's a list of command, right? So we are going to specify few commands uh, that is required to execute or run the flask application, right? So the very first command is from Ubuntu colon 18.04, right? So basically the from command tells Docker from which base image we want to base our image from, right? And here we are creating the Docker image from the Ubuntu image, right? So we are using Ubuntu 18.04, right? So this is our base image, right? Then the second command is followed by the maintainer, right? And maintainer is followed by the email ID, right? So uh, it's optional. Uh, I'm not uh, putting it over here, right? So if you want, you can add. Maybe I should add maintainer it's followed by the email id so it's basically who is going to maintain this image right at the rate gmail.com 
right and now uh, we are going to add few commands so once we have the image the very first command that we will run is sudo apt get update right so basically we are not going to use sudo over here we will simply say apt get update so to run the commands there is a keyword called run so we have to mention run apt hyphen get update hyphen y now we will require pip3 and unicorn right so we will say run apt hyphen get install python3 hyphen pip hyphen y so this will install pip3 for us because we will require pip3 to install packages like flask or any other packages that you have mentioned in the requirements.txt right and then we will require unicorn to run the flask application so i will say run apt get install unicorn 3 hyphen y now we are done with the updates or the installation of the base packages that we required further now uh, we will copy the flask app directory as well as the requirements.txt file to the container right so for that there is a command that is copy requirements.txt maybe i will copy and paste copy paste and with what name i have to paste so it's going to be the same so copy requirements.txt to container as a requirements.txt and then uh, we also have to copy flask caps so it's copy flask app to slash opt right so we are pasting it in a location slash opt now we have requirements.txt we have flask application uh, within our container or we have added these things to our image right so now we want to install the packages that is requirements.txt right so now again we will use run command to install those packages because we have to run a command saying pip3 install right so it's going to be run pip3 install hyphen r hyphen r for requirements.txt so now this will install flask right now uh, we have to set the working directory so which will be our working directory right so in my case it's going to be slash opt because all the files of flask application is being copied to slash opt right so i will say work dir that is work directory slash opt slash so for example our flask application is running on port 8000 right so we have to expose that port so it's a command that is expose 8000 right but uh, we will handle this thing from docker compose file so i'm not mentioning it over here right now the very last command that's going to be cmd right followed by the square braces so now here uh, so basically using cmd uh, we can set default command that we want to run uh, once the image is uh, in running state right so i want to run the flask application so the command is going to be unicorn 3 comma the parameters that is hyphen b so i'm binding it with o dot o dot o dot o colon 8000 followed by app colon app comma hyphen hyphen workers equal to phi right and here we are done with writing the docker file for the flask application 
So this is how uh, you can define the Docker file for a Flask application. So basically there could be a lot more within this Docker file based on the requirements or the use case that you are working on and also depends upon the Flask application, right? So it might require uh, many more dependencies, uh, many more things to add on, right? But this is kind of the skeleton or the very basic Docker file for the Flask application that I had come up with, right? So, well, that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will create Docker Compose file. And till that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below. And I will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.